What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is to the winner of this week's poll for other artists which is Tim Faust since I don't have you. Now I thought I had a pretty uh, pretty wide knowledge base when it came to different songs and different music. Doing reactions has proven that wrong for me because this is yet another song that I don't know. Uh, apparently it's a very old doo-wop song uh, that was at one stage also covered by Guns N' Roses. I believe the original was by a group, a doo-wop group called The Skyliners. Uh, I've not heard any of those versions. It's going to be my first experience with this song. Uh, so I can't wait to see and hear what Tim does with this one. Before we get into today's reaction, I do just want to let you guys know that this is uh, an exciting change coming up because this is going to be the last week of the Strictly The Other Artist reaction poll over on my Patreon being the selection of both the artist and the song. Moving forward, the other artists are going to be voted on which artist I'll be reacting to, and then I'll be able to go in and choose a song from that artist that I'm desperate to hear or I think will be really amazing, or one that you guys have left heaps and heaps of comments on saying I should react to a particular song. So rather than it being the complete decision over on my Patreon, it's now going to be the decision of which artist and I'll choose the song which just gives me a little bit more of a chance to sink my teeth into songs that I really know I'm going to love from these artists. Not that every song I've reacted to hasn't been incredible. I know this one today is going to be incredible, so I can't wait to see it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, please check out the original linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, watch it without my rambling pauses that are going to happen frequently. And we are going to get into this reaction. This is Tim Faust's version of Since I Don't Have You. Pausing already, just because I have to put it out there. I never realize it until I actually hear it, but I love doo-wop. <laughs> as soon as it comes in with those ba -doop, ba -doop, I'm like, yes, I, lo I love it so much. All right, it's just happy vibes. Before you keep going, that was stunning. Um, <laughs> Tim is so good with these ones. I've only reacted to one other Tim Faust solo, but I always forget that because he's a bass, you think of him as a bass. And in songs like this and Mayday, uh, where he's just like, you know what? I'm going to show them I can do everything. I'm going to show them I can do it all. And hearing him in this, where I know that the backing vocals are those deep, bassy badumps that are happening are him, but then also these gorgeous soaring high notes are him as well. This man is just crazy talented. I don't have hopes and dreams. I don't have anything since I don't First of all, I did not expect coming into a Tim Faust song that the thing getting me wibbly wobbly would be his gorgeous high notes. I, I came into this prepared to handle the bass and to melt from the bass, but to come at me sideways with these angelic high notes that I'm not even going to try and imitate, sir, you need to calm down. Already looking like a silver fox dapper gentleman on my screen with glasses, and then you're going to come at me with notes like that? Tim Faust needs to calm down. <laughs> um, the lyrics to this song as well, by the way, are just gorgeous. Uh, true, true heartbreak. 
Um, it's, it's actually reminding me of the song Without You from Rent, which is a very similar kind of vibe of listing all of the things. Well, that one's listing all the things that still are happening uh, without the person, but they're not moving forward when the whole rest of the world is. Whereas this one's kind of more the vibes of these are the things that I just can't enjoy and don't have without you. But either way, it's just so, so cute. So uh, heartbreaking, but beautiful. I don't have you. I don't have happiness. And I guess I never will again. The note he hit on Will there was stunning. Oh, if that didn't give you like, oh, moment, like, I don't know how to vocalize that, but lift you up slightly. Like I almost felt myself lift out of my chair when he did that will. Let's hear that again. No, because no, I already talked earlier in the video about your angelic high notes. You don't get to go higher than that again. You are a bass, sir. Your job is bass. No one gave you permission to steal every other vocal range. Ah, oh. so this happens. This happens to me because I know you're going to sit there and say that I've heard him go that high before. He probably went that high in Mayday. Uh, the, he, he went, he, I'm pretty sure he went that high in his version of Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. Uh, but what y'all are forgetting is that I have a memory of a goldfish. So when I hear the notes at the start of this, I'm like, oh, that's right. Tim can go high. I'm not prepared for this. Sir. ready for multiple Tims. <laughs> I'm already not handling one Tim. Tim, Tim, and Tim need to calm down. <laughs> you can't keep making him walk on the screen because I'm not handling one of those voices and now he's laying it over himself even more. It was bad enough when it was the backing vocals and him singing gorgeously and now it's the backing vocals, him singing gorgeously and him singing gorgeously. Uh, <laughs> Tim is killing me with this one, you guys and not killing me in the way I expected, which is what is causing the most damage. <laughs> I was trying to think for like half of, well, not half the song, but ever since he did those really high notes, 
what it was reminding me of. And I feel like it was a kind of, the, I, I have no musical experience to be talking about this at all, you guys, but I'm a ramble anyway. There was like a stage that songs went through, or maybe, maybe it's done by the same people. I don't think it is, but there was a song, Sherry, and that had a very similar, if I try and imitate it now, you guys, it's going to sound like someone's torturing a cat. So I'm not going to do that to you. But the lyrics to it, I, I, I can't think of the, the lyrics to it. Oh, you know what? I'll put the name of it right here. I'm going to look it up after that. The name is going to be right in front of me now. Sherry by these people. Uh, and that has a very same kind of high nasally, but in a good way kind of vocal that you don't hear in 2023. You don't hear in modern music. Uh, and Tim is slaying that vocal that particular style of note, whatever you call it, whatever the technical term for it is, Tim's destroying the hell out of it in a way that cannot be comprehended. Like I said, if I tried to do this, it would sound like someone was torturing Alvin and the Chipmunks for information and they were screaming in pain. That That is how I would sound doing those notes. Tim is just bonkers that he can do that and then do his bass as well should not be physically possible for one person. Tim Faust is not of this world and you will not convince me otherwise. Let's see what the alien has to say. Thank you so much for watching my music video for Since I Don't Have You. This is one of 12 all me, all acapella doo-wop songs available on an album called Pieces of Me, Volume One. You can find CDs and MP3 downloads at timfaustmusic.com as well as a whole bunch of other fun merchandise. And a huge thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making that album and this video possible. If you haven't checked out my Patreon campaign, please do. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Tim Faust Music, where you can help me make more of the content you enjoy and get some really cool exclusive perks in the process. In fact, I'm releasing music all of the time that is only available on Patreon. So please stop by. While you're at it, I hope you'll check out my side project with Austin Brown called Sweet and Low. Please find us and follow us on all your favorite forms of social media. And while you're at it, check out our community at Sweet and Just before he keeps talking, why has no one told me about Sweet and Low? What is Sweet and Low? Why have they not been why have I not been bombarded with comments of like, you like Austin, you like Tim, check out Sweet Do I need to check out Sweet and Low? What is Sweet and Low? Guys, future reactions coming apparently. Favorite forms of social media. And while you're at it, check out our community at sweetandlowmusicco.com. Thanks again what for a... watching. I hope you'll like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. How well does that name work out? That's just so satisfying to hear. What was it? Sweetandlow.uk.co? Like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear it again. Sweetandlowmusicco. Sweet and low music co that that just is so satisfying to hear um, It's just funny how things work out sometimes. That's just really satisfying to hear. Um, this was insanely good This was mind-blowingly good. I always forget just how talented this man is Until I hear another one of his songs because I should have remembered this from will you still love me tomorrow and stay Tim blew me away in that one Tim blows me away every single time he opens his mouth, whether it's solo or a part of Home Free, but the man can just do no wrong. I have a list as long as my arm of songs that I would love to hear him sing. But yeah, I, I definitely need to check out more of his solo stuff. I can't wait to hear more of his stuff with Home Free. And now apparently I need to look into Sweet and Low because can't wait for that. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. Please go and like I said, follow the link in the description give the original a like and a comment and tell Tim how amazing he is. Uh, sign up to his Patreon, support him. I wish I could sign up to the Patreon for every artist I react to because they all deserve it so much. But the least I can do is tell you guys to go and do it because if you can, it helps out the artists all so much. Check me out over on Patreon. Uh, oh, also leave a like and a comment on this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already because that helps me out so much. And yeah, if you're so inclined, check me out over on Patreon where I run weekly polls like this. Like I said, moving forward, the other artist poll will be voting on the artist and then I'll be picking the songs. The uh, voice play and home free polls 
are voting on the individual songs for those uh, those two separate artists. So check me out over there. Uh, I do weekly weekly TV show reactions, monthly movie reactions, a monthly live stream that's coming up in just a few days time on Saturday, my time. So check that out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of good stuff over on my Patreon. I'll be back tomorrow with another reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.